Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited. I have something different for you guys. It's clippings in my hair, which literally cost me 20 pounds guys. That was 20 pounds for one packet. I've got two packets, so I spent 40 pounds in total. I got it from this collection called Obsession. It's their 30 inch clippings. Look at how amazing this looks guys. These are how long the 30 inch long as we if it's tickling my air scrap i will be showing you exactly how i achieved the style and how i got it to lay this perfectly it's super duper lightweight if you guys want to see how i achieved this hairstyle keep on watching i will also link this frontal into this video i got it from amazon it's a hd frontal 13 times 6 i can't remember the name of the brand but i will put the link to this frontal in the description box below so don't forget to check that out if you do want to achieve this hairstyle i hope you guys do enjoy this video i've been meaning to make this video for so long now but i've been so caught up with like doing wig videos and work i haven't actually been able to be creative i feel like this is the first time in a long while that i've been able to be creative on here so i just hope you guys enjoy if you guys ever see the makeshift mirror that i have right now you guys would actually laugh at me I am starting off with this HD frontal that I got from Amazon. I'm wearing a top guys, it is a cool set top, um, which I also got from Amazon as well. I just be shopping on Amazon guys, I'm so sorry, but personally, me, I need my stuff to be at my house by the next day. If I think that I want something, it needs to be at my house the next day. I can't wait three to five days for delivery. I need next day things, so big up Jeff for giving us the luxury of having Amazon Prime and next day delivery. This is the frontal guys, which is probably the best frontal I think I've ever purchased. It comes like this, but the way you know this roll HD is when the ends fray away like this. So I kind of had to put it to a test and say, if I pull this, will it fray away? And when I pull it, pull it, you can see it frays away. So this, this is real HD, y'all. Now I'm going to link the tutorial on how I did achieve my frontal tuck in. So it will just be like a mini tutorial. I'm not going to show you guys how I did the whole thing, but I will show you guys how I did a section. If y'all want to look flawless, watch how I do my stocking caps. I don't think I've actually put out a proper stocking cap tutorial. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that for you guys now. So to perfect this frontal in front of the clippings, I'm going to do like a very small cane row in the front just so that I can sew my stocking cap method onto the cane row in the front because I really really want this look to be seamless. Just tie the hair in the back away. If you guys can't do this braid on your own, honestly it's really nothing to like ask someone in the house, ask a friend to come over just to braid that front bit down. You want to get a curved needle and a thread and literally thread this end piece of hair just to ensure that this came out is actually like secured down. Yep, just like that. This is a stocking that I got from my local supermarket so you can get yours from your local Tesco's, Asda, Sainsbury's, Wilkinson. Um, yeah, you want to get pantyhose that are like ultra thin so that you can have a very thin stocking cap Especially because we're working with HD lace You need a stocking cap that's really thin. It really does make the world of a difference I've come to find that the reason why lace will not lay flat is because There's like a line of demarcation between the lace and your skin The thinner you can get the line of demarcation between the lace and your skin The better the lace will look I love wigs so much, I'm always wearing them And you know, this is just some observations that I've made As today I'm using the Hair by Shopee glue to lay my stocking cap method I always use lace glue to lay my stocking caps Just because as you can see here, that's turning clear And I just feel like we've got to be spray It just doesn't turn clear it does turn clear but it leaves like a textured i don't know how to describe it but this for me just works the best uh, whilst that glue is drying i'm going to start sewing down my stocking cap onto that braid i'm going to make sure that i do it tight just so that i can kind of get that cane row underneath flat if i'm being completely honest guys this is the first time 
I'm doing a frontal pony with like a stocking cap method. I used to, oh my gosh, guys, I have a knot. How am I gonna get this out? Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, somebody should come and help me with this tin. This used to happen to me a lot when I used to do hair for people. Oh no, guys, we did it. Yeah. Just gonna keep on threading this through. So that um, stitching is all done now. I'm just going to cut off my stocking cap of my head and the way I do this is just by cutting it straight down the middle and I kind of almost pull the stocking cap back and just take my scissors and ever so gently cut like so and I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the colour Truffle well guys this is gonna look flawless I'm really excited I've been wanting to do this like taping look for ages now but I've just been really scared to damage my hair with the tapes because I know how high maintenance doing tapings is and if I'm being completely honest knowing me I've not maintained the tapings because I would want to do everything on my own from washing it to conditioning it I just know I wouldn't be able to do that in the most professional way I've always kind of like shied away from doing tapings so this clipping is literally the cheap alternative way of doing it like I only spent £20 on the clippings and I got two packs so I spent £40 on the packs and then I spent £100 on the frontal so even that is still way cheaper than getting tapings because tapings I've been seeing some prices at like £500 and not all of them include the hair I'm going to put the frontal on my head I have already removed the back thick piece already um, I'm still going to have to cut off a lot more of this frontal I don't even know how I'm going to put this frontal on my head but we're going to try I'm going to be using a bolt screwer to do so because I don't have any more waxing sticks So now that that's done, we actually need to cut back the excess lace. What I'm going to do is take my rat tail comb and just kind of find that braid that's in the back. And I'm going to part the hair like this. And then I'm gonna part the hair right behind the frontal. So just like this to just keep on finding that braid in the back and parting the hair away and then I'll cut off all the excess lace that's behind the braid and then guys to further secure the lace down I'm going to sew um, the back of the, the lace frontal down onto the braid because if not we're going to have some serious flapping birds over here we don't want that so let's secure that down one thing about me i'm gonna figure out how to do any hairstyle i love a challenge this is the first time I'm doing this and honestly I am making a few mistakes. You can see that the lace is lifting here but it's fine. I'm going to stick that with glue then. We're trying. I feel like we're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere with this. So I'm super duper proud of myself. I spent a hundred and something pounds on this frontal and I've cut off 50 pounds. Great stuff. Okay, so I've just put my melting band on. I did spray some Evan spray into my lace and then I put my melting band on. You can really see now, guys, that I actually really over this side, but it's fine. I'm gonna touch it up with some mascara. So we can take our hair out in the back. And my hair's already straightened, so if you haven't straightened your hair already, 
At this point, you can go in and start straightening your hair. I'm going to take my clippings by a brand called Obsession. It's a nine piece clipping extension in 30 inches. I, what I really, really do love about these um, clippings is that, guys, like the movement is crazy. It does come with different sizes of clippings. So you can see like this would be a piece for right at the back because it's shorter and they have like longer ones for the middle which I really really like because it makes it quite easy to do these then you have like little ones for the front so you guys can just watch me put my clippings in and hopefully you get the gist of the story I'll just show you in real time how I do the first one so I'll just take this wrap towel comb and honestly the patterns do not have to be neat if you're a perfectionist you can get someone else to do this for you but for me if I'm being completely honest as long as the clippings are in my head, I'm happy. So then I'm going to get my clip and take the two piece. When I open it like this, just like that. And that is already the first one in. So that's all comb. Take out another section of hair. Woo! This one is just a bit longer. This has three clips in it. And I'll just open them up. And these blend right into my hair. So yeah, let's continue to finish that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and keep on doing it until I get to the top and I'll be right back when I'm at the top bit of my head because I'm literally just repeating the same steps. Okay, so we're finally at the top guys and we've got like these small singular pieces and I'm literally gonna use that to like fill out the rest of the spacing because obviously the spacing in the top isn't as wide as the spacing in the middle so we are going to need um, some smaller pieces. This is way better than a traditional sewing, in my opinion. Just if you want something fast, but something cute. If I had a sewing, I would have been sitting down here for at least two to three hours. So now that all of that is done, I will be going in with my hot comb. Just to hot comb the front all down, you can see that bit is really lifted. I hot combed this bit down. So I'm just going to do the same on this side. Tie it back, I can put it in a bun, I can tie it up if I wanted to. It's real cute and it's real natural. If you did learn a thing or two today, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel because we always do in lip things over here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys later.